Hello everybody, Bryos here, and today I have for you another Blood Asp build. The Blood Asp is a Clan 90 ton Omnimac, and not only is it beautiful, it also has lots and lots of firepower, and it performs really well on the battlefield. Combined with all this, it has great build versatility because of the Omnipods, and the fact that the Omnipods have a very nice variety of hardpoints. So, I enjoy making builds for this particular mech, and testing them out on the battlefield, because it's, it's good, it's nice. So anyway, this is actually the Blood S B, running the standard Omnipods. I didn't swap anything out. That's because the right torso has a single ballistic mount, high mounted, and it has a 15% cooldown quirk. So this build actually starts with this weapon, and it's not a big weapon. Let's get down to the build. It's actually just an LB5. You might say, why not an LB20? It fits. Yet, yeah, but I went for an LB5. That's because it matches the triple ERPPC's range, and with the cooldown quirk of 15% and a bit of skills, the cooldown is now at about 1.4, allowing you to shoot that LB5 every 1.4 seconds. And yeah, that's quite quite good actually. So if you're overheating due to the 3 RPPCs, you can keep firing that LB5 in the enemy's face so that they have problems targeting you, allowing you to cool down and fire this tree. And this LB5 has 3 tons of ammunition, these three RPPCs have 26 double heat sinks to help it cool down, and a bit of electronics due to the light active probe and the ECM, allowing you to target the enemy kind of fast actually. Combine the skills, that's quite a lot. And the ECM, the full ECM skill tree, allows you to move around pretty sneakily. So, talking about the skill tree, let's take a look at firepower. So, the firepower tree I've gone for 17 in a very symmetrical configuration. That's because I want 4 nodes of velocity. 1, 2, 3, 4. Increasing the speed of the ERPPCs by 12%. The rest of the bonuses are pretty incidental. Rage is only 5%. It's got lots of range. I'm not too worried about it. But it has a heat of 2.4 and a cooldown of 2.4. Not much, but a bit to help. For survival, I've gone for 31. I removed a few. So 31 SPs will give you 10.8% armor and 27% structure. Combining the fact I put nothing in mobility, this is a classic assault mech moving slowly, hard to kill, and lots of firepower. In fact, the firepower is quite sustainable actually, considering I have 26 double heat sinks, and to boost the heat sinks, I have 20 points in operations, 5 nodes of cool run. This gives you 10% heat dissipation. A bit of advice if you have lots of heat sinks like this mech, pile on the cool run nodes because this will increase the rate the heat sinks dissipate that heat, so making your heat sinks extra efficient. And of course, my favourite node is Heat Containment. I always take 5 nodes. That gives me an uh, increased heat capacity of 15%, allowing me to fire that much more before I need to shut down or flush. And for sensors, 13 points for the 2 enhanced ECM nodes. This allows the ECM to cover you up to a longer range. And in fact, you can close in and the enemy still can't see you. So it protects you a bit from lerms. It also has a target info gathering. That gives you 21% bonus. Combined with the light active probe, that's 36. So it gives you information really fast, so you can call out your targets and shoot the components that are called really, really fast. So to round it off, we have 10 points in auxiliary. Of course, 2 enhanced cool shots and 2 artillery strikes to basically throw down on the enemy, either to do damage or to deny movement to the enemy. So that, the, that is the Blood Ass B. So it's a, actually a lovely mech because all the weapons are pretty high mounted. I am loving this build a lot, and I've been having really good games in it. So talking about good games, let's get down to the battlefield and let's see how this mech does. Let's go! Hello everybody, Bryos here, and today I am bringing my Blood SB, running a different build, 3 RPPCs and an LB5. The LB5 has a 15% ballistic cooldown, and you probably can hear my son in the background. So anyway, let's try this build out. Slightly different, lots of heat sinks. Chain firing my ERPPCs, light in Echo 7, Warhawk spotted. spotted. So, yep, let's move along this line. Ever. And let's see if we can get some targets. Let's head into Fox 7 and hold Fox 7. New target acquired. Target Here is that one, this is what I call it. New target acquired. Oh, I've got you. Here comes the big guys, holding at Fox 7. New target acquired. Fatless spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted. 
There they are. Okay. Looks as though we are pushing forward. Alright, if we're pushing forward, Spotted Mac is a Warhawk. Let's go get him first. I got a bit of range, so I'm gonna stand a bit further behind. Enemy UAV up. Kill the damn wreck mix. Okay. Moving slowly along. Too many people standing behind me. New target acquired. Mad Dog Lima, CT Cord. Coming from our left, Kilo Kilo. Oh, another kill. Cooling down, cooling down. I've got hey, no more cooldowns. Override engaged. Stay tight guys, they have a better position. Alpha Shadowhawk CT. Mad Dog India. Juliet Licks, Juliet Licks. Coming in behind us. Yep. Yeah, and I'm dead. Cover the assaults, please. We've got lights like Charlie, CT. And one assault behind him. I love the constant splash of the LB. No. I see a thing. Everybody's blocking. Oh yeah, well done team. So this build works as you can see. Side torsos are core, that's because I was tanking even with this weapon combination. Well done, thanks guys. So there's 974 damage, 3 kills, both 2 solos, 3 KMDDs, lots of C builds, lots of XP and the tournament supporter bonus gives me 10% more and yep, I got the neatest pack. So let's look at the score, 6 to 8 scores, 3 kills, 974 topping the team. This is a very legitimate build. Blood SP with the stock Omnipods.